first adventure that I sent my current group on was into the jungle to face off against a cult of basilisk worshippers. The issue there, however, was that I didn't have any basilisk minis and I couldn't find any online, so I wound up having to make them. Now, as it turns out, they wound up looking pretty decent, and I've decided I want to increase my repertoire of monsters using the lessons that I learned, so today I am going to turn a giraffe into a plesiosaur. If you want to see how I do that, keep watching. To begin, I'm going to break down the giraffe. I'm going to remove the head, the tail and the limbs. I also sanded the back end flat and I'll get around to doing this to the legs as well. I have a bunch of these cheap dinosaur toys and this one kindly agreed to donate his head and tail to help. Now we can see the basic shape starting to come together. I had a few different whales and sharks to choose from, and for this project I picked the pectoral fins from one shark and one whale. You can also split the tail fluke from the whale to make a sacrificial piece go further. You can see during this part of the glue up that I've refined the angle that the fins are going to attach at. I'm aiming for about a 45 degree angle down and that'll give it a pretty natural looking pose. You can see here that I've flattened out the bottom of this, that is so that I can attach it to the base. Once the glue had set, I put on a thick coat of white acrylic paint. This would show all the lumps and bumps that would need to be sanded flat, as well as filling some of the lower spots. Once I had that sanded as well as I could, I gave it an even coat of Rust-Oleum surface primer all over, and now it was time for paint. If anyone's wondering why the colour scheme on this looks a little familiar, it may be because I based it on a Lapras, but since it has no shell, I've darkened it towards the middle of the back like a modern shark. So here's the finished product. I wound up liking him so much I did another, although he's going to need to be rebased as you can see he's sitting a little funny. And this is its scale with miniatures. I think he winds up needing a 2 inch base but I only gave him one and a half just because that was handier for me to cut out at the time. And these are the basilisks that I made. These were ankylosaurs and I chopped off their heads, replaced them with T-Rexes and just glued down extra legs. It really is very simple to make a lot of very interesting monsters with just little bits and pieces, so I'm going to continue doing that for as long as I can. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, leave a comment if you'd like to see me make something specific in the future, and subscribe to see what Fig makes next.